the Ardennes Offensive was the last major German offensive campaign on the Western Front during World War II. The battle lasted from 16 December 1944 to the 28th of January 1945 and would be a cold, hard-fought, bloody battle that would cost many thousands of soldiers and civilians their lives. Today the Ardennes is one of the top 5 historical places to visit and on many people their bucket list. Of course the area saw many historical events, but unlike the popularity of Normandy, the museum count in the Ardennes actually went down. That's pretty much the reason why this will only be a top 5. There's also not many variety. Most of them focus on the entire battle and not on a specific event. And some can be just generic World War II museums. But let's have a look at some of the best museums in the region and I will try to rate them on price, light, display, size and overall history the museum tells. Of course this is entirely based on my own opinion and you can tell me how stupid I am in the comments below. But that I even have to state this is proof and how stupid people actually are. <sighs> the December 44 Museum. Okay, I know. A lot of you guys like this museum, and I do too. It has a great looking tiger outside, and it also has a great modern display. But hear me out. This museum has some incorrect information. Still, it has a lot more information than any other museums in the area, and the museum also has some high detailed maps about tank battles fought in the surrounding area. The look of the museum is pretty much the modern design choice, which is overly dark, a lot of mood lighting, and it has an overall clean look. It was actually the first museum that sort of started this darker and modern feel of this place, which a lot of museums have copied in the area today. I'm sort of all in for the modern design look. I know many people don't like the modern displays because it's a clean look, but takes up a lot of unnecessary space and many people just enjoy the old mothball style of museums. But now you ask me, why is this museum on a top 5 spot if you like it so much? Now mainly because it's a pretty small museum, has some smaller incorrect information and it has a high entry price. Also, one thing that bothers me to my core is the misinformation about the Tiger 2 131, which was simply abandoned and sabotaged. No epic gun battle ever took place. I did an entire video about the Tiger 2 outside the museum and have to say that misinformation for spectacle and the need to tell overblown fables for tourism is really present in a lot of tourist spots and museums in the Ardennes. And this museum is guilty of just that. It still tells the incorrect story about this vehicle for spectacle and tourism. Still, it has a Tiger 2 outside. And that's pretty hard to beat. And with some great 101 scale dioramas, which I really enjoyed. And I still just love this little museum, which lands it to be on the last spot. The historical center close to Malbedy is one of the more interesting ones in the area. Mainly of the horrific historical Malbedy incident that happened only 200 meters from the museum. The museum tells the history of the Battle of the Bulge and focuses on what happened in the surrounding area. The exhibitions are nicely lit with information in multiple languages and nothing is overly dark like a lot of modern museums have to be today. And you will see really beautiful setup dioramas and for me I really enjoyed these 101 scale setups. They are things I live for and I can look at for hours at a time. Big con of this museum is that it's only open for two days, from Saturday and Sunday. And the theme park experience setups with a lot of noise, sound effects and nonsense, especially the one of the Malbedy incident, uh, I have some feelings on. But I will be having a deeper look at this in my museum review video. The museum also displays a lot of fake equipment and I mean really obvious reproduced stuff. Me personally, it doesn't bother me at all that much. But I know that some of you in the comments can't stand repro stuff. But let's head out to my number 3 spot on this list.
the National Museum of Military History, Diekirch. So a few years ago, this museum would probably have landed on the number one spot, without a doubt. Even though it isn't for 100% a Battle of the Bulge museum, it focuses on some parts on the Luxembourg military. It has an astonishing large 101 scale diorama setup, still one of the best you will probably see. Of course a lot of equipment and vehicles, pictures and information. All of this you can look at for hours. But my latest visit proved to be a bit disappointing at best. And maybe that's because I have been here so many times and I really didn't see any improvements. I found it to be unkept and also with the new additions and new sections it was confusing what path to follow. Parking is also outside of the museum now and that's also paid parking and really hard to come by. The price is also increased and maybe still worth it, but in my opinion it isn't worth a second visit anymore. The Battle of the Bulge Museum, La Rouge. Don't let the outside fool you. This is a much bigger museum than you would think and has some larger vehicles inside. And I think second place for this highly overlooked museum is a well deserved spot. The charm of this museum probably lies in the older display style that hasn't really been upgraded since its opening and that's also one of the reasons I think people love this museum so much. It has some great looking displays, especially on the top floor, a lot of pictures and of course information in French and English. The museum also focuses on the British and there is an entire section dedicated to the history the British played in the battle and also the battle of La Rouge. Price is reasonable and the museum is overly just one of my favorites in the entire area. It doesn't shove information aside for spectacle, but the only downsides are probably parking again. Just like Dekirch you have to search for paid parking in a highly busy area and I think this town is even worse. And for some, maybe the outdated look of it all, with the mannequins and the 1990s movie room with the TV and a few chairs playing a video way too loud, but maybe for some people this is all part of its charm. But let's head out to my number one museum. Yes, my top one museum is the 101st Airborne Museum. Yes, not the overrated Bastogne War Museum. Yes, I found it to be the most generic museum in the Ardennes area. Not even worth to be called the Bastogne War Museum, when in reality, its history on Bastogne is pretty limited. So, first place goes to the 101st Airborne Museum. The 101st Airborne Museum is located in the city of Bastogne. In a beautiful historical building also known as the Mess of Officers built in 1938. It has beautiful displays, a lot of pictures, nice 101 scale dioramas and great lighting. No overblown theme park attractions here. Great information in English and French. Some cons are that the museum is somewhat more expensive than other museums and I got confused in where to go in the bomb shelter part. With me missing an entire area the first time I walked through it. Probably because I'm a Dutch moron. Of course there is no parking, but there is free parking at the Pentum Monument, a short walk from the museum. So yes, I would highly recommend to plan your visit to Bastogne by going to the town and then taking the museum with you at the same time. And just skip the overblown tourist trap. Of course, I can't end this video without some honorable mentions, so let's get it over with. The Baston Barracks is on this list because of its limited opening times. It has a great amount of history being the HQ of the Allies during the battle and has the biggest armored collection of almost any museum in the area, which is a must see if you're into armored vehicles. They still have a rare Sherman Jumbo and a Command Panzer IV in their collection. If you have time to visit the Bastogne Barracks and are in the area of Bastogne, I would highly recommend you pay them a visit. The Manet Museum is a relatively new museum in the area across from the Panther, standing in the small town of Grand Manil. It has a beautiful setup and nicely lighted displays, 
But the museum is set up as a walkthrough experience, where they tell the history of Normandy to the Battle of the Bulge through this place. But I think this is somewhat hard to follow for visitors with a limited knowledge about the history of World War II. Also, the limited information doesn't really help either. But I have to say that the museum has an outstanding eye for detail, and I would highly recommend to visit this museum. But the lack of information fails it a bit, and that's why it's on this list. The Battle of the Bulge Museum, Clairvaux is located in the castle of Clairvaux and is a relatively small museum with some beautiful displays and is not that expensive but has limited information here and there and again parking is really hard to come by. There is the possibility of a discount on everything if you visit the other museums in the castle and I would recommend doing this because the Diorama Museum is pretty interesting to combine together with this museum and has a great 135 scale diorama of the town and castle during the battle which is already worth the price of admission on its own in my opinion. The Best on War Museum and in all honesty I wanted to place this museum in the top 5 but then I realized that it's not a Battle of the Bulge museum anymore it's just a generic World War II museum. So then I said to myself okay will it fit nicely into the honorable mentions list? But then looking back on it it's not really great as a generic World War II museum either. It's highly overpriced and I'm not even counting the overpriced paid parking outside and it has some misinformation on vehicles that are just there to mislead for spectacle and the Battle of the Bolt section is just meh. So then I just wanted to leave it out altogether but then I realized people that love this museum are going to ask me in the comments where is the best on war museum. So this is my answer to that. I loved this museum before the renovation, it was one of my favorites, but now as a generic World War II museum I would not recommend it and I would say skip it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank everybody for supporting the channel by buying some of my merch or by becoming a channel member. See you in the next one.